We are loving this new goat barn. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And today we're going to talk about our new goat shed and the reason why we got it and some of the things we've done with it so far. And the first thing is kind of talking about our old goat shed area. So if you guys have been watching our channel for the last couple of years, you notice that we've done some things in this area to improve it, especially on the outside. This, this original structure was here prior to us moving in. And so we've kind of modified it, done some things, but it's just getting to the point now where it's, it's getting a little tired, definitely needs some more work to it, especially on the roof and some of the back wall and those kind of things. And so we just, we had to make a decision this year to say things have got to change. Either we've got to redo this completely or come up with a different solution. So, you know, due to the, the flooding, uh, water penetration, uh, temperature and, and all those kind of things it just was kind of hard to manage everything when it comes to some of the baby animals and if we had chickens and those kind of things and with our new goat area it's going to change all that and make everything much much easier so we ultimately decided on a 12 by 24 metal shed uh, this is a metal structure but it is framed out with wood and we really thought this would be a great building for us and so we had a, a lot of issues with our last areas flooding and we decided to put this in a special spot just so it would be out of the water at least in the least amount of areas that have flooded in the past and we thought this was pretty cool how this guy got it through here we had to take down a couple fences but we uh, finally got it in and he did a, a pretty good job getting that stuff in there and got it really level four so One of the first things that we did once we got this thing put in place, got it leveled and all that kind of stuff, is to get electric ran to the building. We didn't want to have to deal with any kind of sketchy electrical, big old long electrical cords ran everywhere. We wanted a good solid electrical foundation. So a buddy of mine, thank you Kurt for helping me out because I've never done electrical like this before in my life, but he helped me run it all the way from our, our, our outside panel there. We had to dig a ditch, trench it out over here and it all runs into the building over here and then we ran out all the electricity from here. So let's go and take a look. All right, so once we got the, the electrical panel installed inside, we ran a couple different phases of electric or just different legs of the electric. Uh, one is just right here for the, this is gonna be like for an AC unit of some sort. Of course, we've got a couple light switches, some for the internal, one for the external. And then all the elect, all the lights are plugged, are able to be plugged in. So if we want to change out these kind of barn lights that we have, these light strips, we can change it up if we want to. Those are ran all the way across here. I think we have six plugs for that. Plus we have some, I don't know if you see them, but they're orange plugs. Those are a different circuit and those are actually designed for the uh, heat lamps or fans or whatever it may be at that time of year off a different circuit so we don't overload things. And then of course we do have some extra uh, electrical up here in the wall just to kind of hang up certain things or plug in certain things. Like we have a camera over here and we have it plugged in here so it's always staying on so we can always check in on our little baby boys. As, as you can see, they're having too much fun. Oh my God, they're so cute. All right, and then once we got all the walls or all the electrical done, we started putting it, put it in, in insulation. And we put insulation in behind all of the walls here. We have one more panel here that we still got to do, just to kind of give it to you, just what it looked like before. This was just a metal building, wood framing, and then we've kind of built it out from there. 
So on the walls, we have insulation and then we just have plywood. And the day that I was able to paint in here, we only had the bottom sections on, the top sections weren't done. So when you see some of those pictures of us painting in here, that's why it was. But we had to get done what we could get done because we knew we had a little baby goats coming. Hey, Spicy, how's it going, Mama? Okay, that's okay. And then even over here on the side, um, how these kind of were framed out, uh, we couldn't put uh, regular like uh, fiberglass insulation, so we just have the foam. We're gonna have another piece up there. We're gonna wall this off. And then uh, this is gonna be pretty tight when it comes to insulation. These little boys are crazy. So, so um, we did prime and uh, paint the walls, or at least partially the walls and the floor. We really wanted the floors done just to help out with stains and, and moisture and those kind of things. And um, so far it's working out pretty good. As you can see, it looks a little dirty, but that's just because it's been kind of muddy and we've tromped back and forth. But we, you know, we've probably been using this probably for three weeks now, Mars. And it's really easy to clean. Uh, actually this morning, it probably took us about 30 minutes or less to come in here and clean out these two pins. And we totally swept them all out, cleaned them out, got them ready for the, for the next coming week and give these people some, give these folks some good clean areas to live in, so. Now, as you can see, this thing's pretty high off the ground. One of the reasons why we wanted it up off the ground is because unfortunately during this portion of our, 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 our land, uh, when it rains at least about two inches, water just flows all downhill that way. So getting it up off the ground is gonna eliminate some of the issues we have over here with water flooding and water penetration. Um, nice level surface, but plenty of room for animals and little baby goats or something to get underneath it. So we had to come up with a way to kind of block off the underneath section. And so we found this uh, plastic uh, PVC kind of uh, trellis kind of stuff. It comes in four by eight sheets and so we were able to kind of trim and uh, cut that up and kind of install that underneath all the way around the edges and it really does help with keeping the animals out from underneath. That's one of the things we didn't want uh, but also helps out with some good airflow underneath there. And of course we did have to install some steps over here uh, not for sure what we're going to do over here. I know I've been envisioning maybe a little deck at some point, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, so really this is the main door that's open. This one kind of locks down. So that's why we only have the steps here. You like the steps? Does it help you? Yeah. Okay, girl. So I don't know if you notice it inside, but we have three separate stalls inside that correlate to three separate stalls outside. Because one of the things we wanted them to be able to do is be able to go in and out. As you've seen these little, these little gorgeous little babies go in and out, in and out all day long now since it's getting a little bit warmer and we're a little bit more comfortable with them being a little bit more freer. And uh, they can get up those steps and go inside. We just have big dog doors. These are extra large dog doors we got. And we just had to kind of frame them out and, uh, and cut holes in the siding and all those kind of things but they fit really good and they work really well. We're able to install some steps down here so they're able to get up and down. And uh, you know, we even have a chicken in here in this one. And eventually at one point we can open this up. She can come and, come and go as she needs. Uh, so the other things we did out here, of course, we, we put some exterior lights on here. At night, this thing is super bright and uh, it's super helpful out here. Not only do we have lights on this side, but we have lights on the front side as well. So we're covered pretty well when it comes to seeing out here at night and being able to take care of our animals. All right, so we're inside of the building. And like I was saying earlier, we have three stalls. We have this one right here, this one in the middle, and then one over here. We still have tools and stuff because we're still doing some stuff in here. But one of the things that we wanted to do was to give a stall but we wanted to be able to have space on the outside door. We can kind of walk up and down and keep it a little bit cleaner than what's inside of the stall. We can feed from this side and do all those kind of things. And so far it seems to be working out really well, um, especially since this is gonna be the area that we're gonna milk in this year. Uh, so if we ever do like a milk share at some point here in the next couple of weeks with our little baby girl, we can just take her from in here, run around the corner over there to the milk stand 
have her hop up there, milk her out, bring her back to her babies. If we needed to separate the babies and mamas, we could separate the babies over here, put the mama right beside her, and then during the day we can mix them together. So, so far it's been working out pretty good on how we decided to do this. And again, you know, just like I said earlier, this is just a dog door. And, um, and then this is just framed in, has some insulation up here. Now, one of the things that we did do that you can't see from the outside is we put extra framing all the way across on this side of the building. Some, uh, some headers, I don't know what they're called, headers and then jack studs or whatever they're called. And what this was all for is to be able to put some sort of a awning from the outside to give them a little bit more shade and weather protection on that side. So that's something that's gonna happen in the near future. Of course, we'll bring you guys along for that. But all of that stuff had to be done prior to all the other stuff. So there was a lot of planning involved and a lot of steps before we actually got anything done. And just kind of give you a little better example or explanation of what we did to how to frame all this stuff up is first thing that we started with was a, was a four by four. And we kind of measured up where we wanted the, the stalls to be and all those kind of things. And we put a, a four by four attached it to a, a stud up here to attach to the, to the, uh, whatever these are called, I can't remember. Joists, yes, the, the ceiling joists. So this is super solid. We had to put one on each corner of the stalls. And then after that, we just kind of did a frame on the floor. So we have a two by four all the way to this wall and all the way and in each direction. And then with that, we were able to put, um, some hardware cloth and some cattle panel up against this wood. And then we had to kind of frame it out just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more support in here. Cause halfway through this was kind of wobbly, but we put some more support, super strong. Uh, we don't think there'd be any issues between, you know, if we had goats in this section and goats in this section, I don't think they could tear this thing down. So that's kind of our, that was our mission. Now, all along in the front, we use these metal fence panels, something we got at, uh, at Lowe's. We've used it before for a gate out front and it worked really, really well. So we decided to come in here and attach two pieces per stall, one for just a wall. And if you've noticed here, we just put these in with like a cable screw clips. They work really, really good. So if we need to take that out, reassemble something or do something different, we can, they're super easy to kind of come in and out. And then of course we just have one little side here that we have attached to this post. And we just have these little clippies that we come in here and clip it in and it's nice and solid. And so far it's been working really good. We're able to put these little food bins like right here, just attached to them. And you know, we can just kind of reach over and fill them up and it works really, really good. You can see over here, the one has hay and one has some other kind of feed for them. And really the babies like to crawl up underneath there and kind of take a nap and it's kind of cute. So as you can see, there is a few things that we still have to get done. Number one, we got to finish up all the walls. We got to paint the tops. We need to finish up this panel, insulate it, plywood, paint, all those kind of things. And then we're even going to insulate the ceiling, put plywood up just to make sure it's nice and tight. Um, we got a couple more of the walls we got to fix up. We got to put some more uh, plywood to cover this and then paint it. That's really where we're at at this point. I think we have to put in a new, um, we're gonna try to find some sort of AC unit. Um, and then on some of the walls, we have to kind of fix up and attach. Um, oh, shelving, yes. So we also want to do a couple shelving units and a couple benches, especially in a couple of the, uh, the pins, uh, the place for the animals to kind of jump up, maybe for us to sit on when we're in there, uh, somewhere where we're just not on the ground. So those are kind of things that are to come and we're going to bring you guys along and show you what we're doing when we're doing it. So as you can see, there are many uses for this type of building. So right now we have a mama and a, two baby goats in one of the pins. Right here, unfortunately, we had a, a, a injured chicken today. 
So we had to kind of uh, readjust and we put her in here, we isolated her. She has food and water, she has a little bit of sunshine. Uh, hopefully she can heal herself and kind of get some rest and relaxation where she's not getting bothered by the other chickens. So that's what one of this space is really good. If we have an injured animal, we can kind of isolate them. Maybe not if they're really sick because they may want extra isolation in that case. Uh, but it's better than having them inside our house. We really do like that. And then over in this area where I has, still have tools, here in about three weeks or so, we're gonna get some baby chickens. Our, uh, my sister-in-law is doing a, a, uh, a egg hatch at school and, um, and we're gonna get the babies once they hatch and uh, we're gonna bring them into the homestead and we're gonna put them in here until they get big enough to go on their own. So we're gonna be able to have, you know, baby chickens, uh, baby goats, maybe some uh, one healthy chicken here eventually. And that's just one way to do it. So we have many things that we can use. Like I said, we're gonna be milking in here. Um, and of course, if there's any bad weather, we can shove all the goats in here if we need to. Uh, you know, we've had some pretty cold nights where we've been able to turn on a heat lamp and maybe a little, little uh, heater and it really kept it fairly nice in here for them. So that's really, that's really the tour of the building, guys. But um, I know that we sure have enjoyed having this space. I think the goats have enjoyed having it as well. Um, I know it's definitely made our lives easier and hopefully it's gonna make it easier for, this, uh, for many, many years to come. Well, folks, that's the tour. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching our videos. If you haven't uh, seen us on Facebook or, or Instagram, make sure you see those links down below. And of course, if you have any comments or suggestions on what we need to do to the building, uh, make sure you leave those down in the comments. And uh, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss a video coming out in the future. But from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.